Okay, we all know this trick, right? We all know it, we love it. It's a, it's a classic. I used to do it back when I did the chef juggling act. I don't know, I think this is like 2012, but it, it's been around forever. It's, uh, you can see it many different ways with many different, actually, not really. Most of them are the same way. But I thought it'd be fun to maybe have it as an option, you know, for this uh, bottle and glass act. Personally, I really don't like the prop itself. It's just a tray like this with like these screwed into it or glued into it or something like that. And that always like really annoys me because it's just like a thing that you can't pack nicely. It's, you, you can't do anything else with it. It's just, a, it's just, it's just that boring. So, I don't remember who told me this, but back when I did that chef juggling act at IGA, someone mentioned to me that they did the same thing, but they put little magnets under there so they could just stick the glasses onto the tray and they wouldn't move about. I thought that was a pretty neat idea. It's been stuck in my head for a really long time. So I decided, I think that's what I'm gonna do with these. That way I can do the, the stack. I can juggle them, I can do other things, and then also put them on the tray to do the tray flip if I like. I went back to Magnet Montreal and got these things. Smaller magnets, same type. I think they're like 10 millimeters. I'm not sure how well this will work, so I'm gonna just uh, test it out with tape before I do any gluing. This tray I just got at Dollarama. Love Dollarama. That's where I got the bucket too. I think the magnet's upside down. Let's test it out. More magnets? That was my fault. That was my fault. Okay, well, it works, but they are still very wobbly. Will another magnet change this? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little rusty. Just gonna practice it. Just remember this being so easy. Okay, so it definitely works. Sometimes when I flick my wrist, it's a little too much for the magnets to handle. Right now I have two on the glass, one on the tray. I have some extras, so maybe I put two on the tray, two on the glass. The only problem is if I do that, it's like super duper wobbly. So I got two options. I can put a bigger hole in the bottom of the glass to like make some space for more magnet, or I can put a hole in the tray, which that I would have to like get a piece of board to put on top of it because this thing is pretty thin. So let me see if I have anything that would work for that. This. Yeah, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is cut the wooden board that I found so it fits in this or on the bottom of this, probably on the inside, and then drill holes and then put the magnets in those holes. That way I can like really load them up and also it'll give some reinforcement to this flimsy plastic board.
magnets on the bottom, three magnets on the board. Everything's glued together. Let's see if it works. I mean, I think it works. Can I actually do the trick? That's a, that's a whole other story. Thank you.